than where our campaign is, and I'm just so grateful that all of you have come out today. But um, I want to tell you that uh, I'm very, very grateful to be up here with uh, lovely fiance Abby and two great veterans. <laughs> I, want to, I want to remind you that the most important day next week is not Tuesday. It's, September, it's uh, November 11th on Saturday. And that's because that's the day our country put aside to honor our nation's veterans. And without our nation's veterans, there would be no election day next Tuesday because we indeed would not have the right to vote and would not have the freedom of vote. So I want to honor our veterans. Yeah. I'm obviously very, very proud to be here with General Clark and we'll bring him up in a couple of minutes. Um, you know, I went to uh, New Hampshire to campaign for General Clark, as many of you did. Um, I think, General, that if you were the president right now, <laughs> we would be in so much better shape. Um, and we would be leading the world to a new day of freedom. And, uh, but, but that didn't happen, and that's all right, because we are, we are not giving up. And the work that you've done since that run, um, and a lot of people said, oh, you just, you're just going to run once and then you'll retire, and you have not been retired. You've been out there every day fighting for the principles that you fought for when you were a soldier, and we all appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. And in case you don't know the gentleman next to me, I'm going to introduce him in a second, but first I want to say a couple of words about next Tuesday. We have gone from a campaign where nobody said could even happen. Nobody can run against a nine-term incumbent. A nine-term incumbent who's got a powerful position in Congress, who's a leader in Congress, and who's very close to President Bush. You simply can't do it. You know, he's got too much money, he's got too many resources. A lot of you right here, and I'm looking through the crowd and I see many of you, didn't believe that. <laughs> you believed that the most important thing was democracy. The most important thing was to have a democratic choice. And two years ago, when Jim Walsh ran and there was no Democratic opponent on the ballot, you said, we can never let that happen again. This year, it's not happening again. We have an alternative. And I'm proud, proud that you have supported me as that alternative. And when I'm elected, we yes. will be able to change the course, not just in Iraq. When I'm elected, we will be able to change the course, not just in Iraq, but in central New York, bringing good jobs and young people back. We need to stop exporting our jobs and our young people and start exporting products and services again. Yeah! yeah. We have so many challenges before us, but we also have many assets. Our workforce is second to none. Our location is a tremendous location uh, with access to the eastern United States and eastern Canada. We have, we have wonderful families. 